Our text is Genesis 2 verse 19. And whatever Adam called each living creature, that was its name. Our heading, man in his Eden home. Man was placed in the most favorable circumstances for his development and growth. In a beautiful garden, with all the influences of noble nature around him, in natural communion with God, with plenty of work in taking care of his home farm, in gaining and exercising dominion over it, with a perfect family life, all of which were educational forces, so that Eden was the great school of man. First, one person alone would almost certainly degenerate, or at the best, develop very slowly. Hence the family was formed for mutual companionship and help. The family rightly used is the greatest educational institution in the world. More than this, Adam was taught language just as children are, by someone without speaking to him as God spoke, and by his practice of language by naming all the wild beasts and the domestic beasts of the field. The tree of life, like that in the city of God, was doubtless medicinal for such accidents as might happen, and to prevent the decay of death of the body, not by a single eating of its fruits, but by continual use of its fruits. Second, man was therefore naturally mortal, though apparently with a capacity of immortality. The mystical nature of the tree of life is fully recognized in the New Testament by our Lord when he says, To him that overcome, I will give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. Both these representations are intended to convey in a striking and pictorial form the promise of life eternal. Thus there was from the very first the culture of the immortal nature of man, of his religious life, and of his relationship with God. Application The tree of the knowledge of good and evil was not to prevent them from knowing good and evil. Its purpose was to teach them that knowledge in the divine way, through knowing the good by possessing it, and evil only by contrast. It is not there to make them fall into sin, but to train them in virtue by resisting temptation. It was necessary that there should be something forbidden that seems to be desirable. And I pray, Father God, open our eyes that we can see that desirable which is forbidden. In Jesus' name, Amen.